It's not very loud. What are you doing? And it's only coming into here. It's coming into one speaker. We got to make that. It's mono. We got to make it stereo. You're so bossy. <laughs> Do I have to take away privileges? <laughs> what privilege? <laughs> My name is Paul Cardall. I am an American pianist. I'm a heart transplant survivor. I have also survived congenital heart disease. Location. So it would be great to have a lot of kids because the kids represent all the kids with congenital heart disease. Oh yeah. Are you ready to sing? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Guess not. Okay. <laughs> you have to divorce yourself from the song because it needs it needs more. It needs to be changed. It needs to, it needs to be fixed. So all this music that we wrote, just let's I don't know, where's a shredder? And so that's when I start talking to other musicians, Trevor, engineer, and get input and suggestions to really perfect the piece. Okay. There you go, my friend. Okay. No, I don't want that. That's, a, that's called a metronome. We don't believe in those things. And then when I bring in string players, drummers, everybody, I get their input. I don't believe I can do this by myself. Or just let them be out, because it's all rock and roll. This is where in the video we're going to hold up their balloons. So they should be, oh, so no singing. No singing. OK, so then that's it. That's it. I sit and listen to some of the music I've done, and it's enjoyable, because I know everybody else worked on it. But if it's just one of my pieces and I'm, it's just me playing, I get really bored. We got that B section now. Oh, you're right. I'll write that part right now. <laughs> That's how we roll. Okay, there you go. Done. Print that up. Let's give them a pep talk. I'm so happy that all you guys are going to sing this song. Uh, and we just wrote your part. So this song is about little kids who have bad hearts. And there's a lot of kids that have bad hearts. And they have to have surgery. And they stay at the hospital. When I was little, I had surgery, and I stayed at the hospital. But Gracie, unfortunately, she didn't live very long. She was only about a year when she died. Okay, so you tall one, come right here on this side. So yeah, you're kind of into that microphone. You tall one, come right here. I do is people don't know who I am. They know the music, they know the songs, they know the albums, but they don't even know they don't know who I am. They might know my name, but I could go anywhere and except for the lady of Zurchers who knew who I was. Gracie was born with a really bad heart. And she went to heart surgery. So she was on life support with this failing transplanted heart. I was at the time waiting for my own heart. And I had the same medical team as Gracie. Grandfather called and asked if, if I would be willing to play at the funeral. And I hadn't performed anywhere for six months because I was on oxygen. But Gracie meant so much to me that I, I went and played at the funeral anyways. I took my oxygen tank up to the piano with me and played the song and then we all said goodbye to Gracie. 